Today we're going to be having a look at Robot Plane Core. Apparently this is a combat aircraft. Apparently it's robots in disguise. Um, pick this up at Dollarama for two dollars. Of course you guys can let me know, is this worth, is this worth a buck? In this case worth two dollars. Down, down below it says, Trucks to Robot. Apparently they have no idea what a truck is. Funny, I thought that was a helicopter, but allegedly it's a truck. It's not recommended for ages 0 to 3. Up at the top there, there's a very cartoon robot. I don't know if he is the evil robot, if he's a good robot, I don't know. What's on the back here? <laughs> what? what? This is a helicopter and a jet. Nowhere here does it say truck. Nowhere there is a picture. Trucks to robot. They must have just used, reused that from something else. Nowhere here does it say anything about it being, there's no indication at all of any truck in this series. But again, we, it looks like we got a jet, we got a helicopter. I saw a couple of the jets and I saw some of the helicopters. There were a couple of different colors. There was a black one, a red one. I opted to go with the red one, but it looks like they're all the same mold. There you go. What I'm going to do is take a bit of a break. I'm going to get this opened up. When we come back, we're going to get a better look at the robot plane core. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. All right, so let's first have a look at the helicopter. I also want to reiterate the fact that this is called Robot Plane Core, and uh, we've got ourselves a helicopter. Um, he has a propeller, doesn't spin, you actually have to manually rotate it. Um, Detail-wise, it's not bad, it's, it's, not, it's not too, too bad. Got some kind of a bluish silver paint in the cockpit area here. You can see all the kibble in the not the kibble, but you can see all the robot pieces, all robot parts, including the head underneath there. I suppose in this mode, you can rotate the back area here slightly, but that's only really due to the transformation. Also, the side sides of the helicopter on ball joints. So uh, you could probably get a couple of different versions of the helicopter. You can kind of have it, the missiles from below. You can have them further up like so. Uh, these are like a flick fire missile. You basically just apply pressure to it, and uh, <laughs> they don't shoot very well. Uh, okay, they don't shoot well at all. No, they don't really don't really work all that well. I'm afraid. Um, in the way of its transformation, to get this transformed to the robot, uh, it's pretty simple. Really, not much involved. You're just going to take the propeller off. Sits on a peg there. And uh, you can rotate this up, like so. Actually, it helps if we fold this out first. Fold that out. Fold the tail back. Doesn't peg into anything, unfortunately. And then you're basically just going to flip the robot around, and uh, you're just going to do some finagling with the arms here. There's really no rhyme, or I mean, there really is no specific way that you can have the arms. You can have the arms basically like so. And uh, the propeller, according to the instructions, the propeller can sit in its arm. Um, I don't really see an area where it can necessarily peg into its arm unless you put it at the top here Or here I had it four. there we go uh, Then it just kind of blocks the view of the robot there the head is good Certainly could use a lot of paint and bring up bring out some of the details in the actual face uh, Without that it's looks like it's just part of the helicopter but you can make out there's a visor. It looks like there's a nose there as well. Um, it's not bad. It's not bad. I wonder if you can actually take the propeller here and peg it on the inside. No, you can't do that. Would have been nice if it was just a little longer. You could probably fit it in here and you could have it like a sort of a weapon. Again, the fit missiles, you can fire them out. This one doesn't fire very well. This one seemed to fire pretty good. Um, being that he's got ball joints, you can kind of have some flexibility in his shoulders. 
Apparently a piece of paint came off the robot. You know, even though they are very basic, very basic in design, kind of having leaning forward as well. Even though he's very basic in design, I suppose if you had a, a dozen of these, you could kind of have them as little drones for some army if you wanted to. Yeah, there you go. Let's just get him, uh, you know what, let's get him transformed back. <laughs> There's so very little involved in the way of transformation. I'm just going to fold those back over, flip that around. And then we just take the helicopter rotor there. There we go. Yeah, not bad. It's a very basic robot, but it does what it needs to do. It transforms successfully. Paint's a little basic on it. Could use a couple more paints applications, but I like the blue and the bluish silver there in the cockpit. So you guys can let me know, is this worth a buck? Today we're having a look at the robot plane core. Even though down below it says truck converts, which wasn't right, and technically it says plane core, even though this is clearly a helicopter. They could have called it airborne core, that would have been, that could have worked as well. Yeah, let me know if, if this is worth a buck. See you guys next time.